Како сте? For me it's a little bit easier uh, as I come from Bulgaria, but still my Serbian is still not that good, although our local approach also includes me learning Serbian. And I'm really trying hard to do that, but I'm still not on, on presentation conference level. So, uh, we will, uh, what I want to share today with you is uh, really where things are going with communication, and they are certainly going there. Uh, we are part of the, exactly of the new wave of uh, actually social communication services of the generation that uh, was portrayed so lovely with the CAD videos in the previous lecture. So basically, we are the service for the cats and the cat lovers. And uh, actually, uh, I'll start with a quote with a very influential figure in the digital tech and startup field. Uh, with uh, Mary Meeker, probably uh, some of you from the audience know, uh, have heard the name. Uh, and uh, it's uh, from their 2000, the 2015 report of the investment fund where uh, this lady works, that actually the mobile messaging leaders may evolve in central communication hubs. And actually, this is what we are doing right now, and I will show you how. So, first of all, where, where it all started, what and why uh, happened to the mobile messaging, and why is Viber, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram so, so powerful and, and with such a, uh, such a footprint worldwide? There are several important reasons. We are accessible, we are personal, we are easy, and we are fast. At the same time, we are global, we are secure, we are expressive, and we give control to the users. All of these things uh, sound very easy to achieve, but believe me, they are very hard to do all at once. It's like probably you have heard this joke that usually applies also to uh, especially to agencies and all kinds of service works, that uh, we can do cheap, fast, and with good quality, but only two of them at once. <laughs> so these things are, all, are eight very big constraints, uh, and we are trying to work with all of them, to be fast, easy, to be personal, but at the same time to be global. So it's, it's very hard to be fast and global. It's very hard to be secure and easy to use. It is very hard to be expressive, uh, and accessible at the same time. And actually, the, the reason for the success of Viber is exactly that we have managed to strike the right balance, and we are really pushing hard to do that. And this is opening a lot of opportunities uh, in the field. So if we uh, look at our uh, global and regional footprint, we have more than 600 million users worldwide. And in Central and Eastern Europe, the region which uh, I am covering, these 13 countries, uh, we have more than 27 million users as of right now. And this is out of a population of roughly 80 or 85 million people. So basically, we are on every third person's device. And in countries like Serbia, you would probably uh, see that and like you, all the, the, the countries from the former Yugoslav region and Bulgaria, Greece and Hungary, we are on 60, 70, 80 percent of the smartphones. So basically, uh, when we look at that, uh, this massive footprint, and we look at the social communication landscape right now, exactly about what the, the, the generation, the millennials and the generation of the 21st century, the, the tech kids that, that have grown up with, with smartphones and tablets, uh, how their communication evolved, uh, you can see two very important parts of it. So one of the parts is uh, the personal part, where you create communities that are under your control, that are communities of your close friends, community of the families, uh, communities uh, with, uh, with the relatives, communities with certain uh, kinds of colleagues, or the people that you uh, play sports with or share a certain kind of interest. And these small communities in groups and in communication actually create secure places where you can actually share much more, not the, the usual things that, uh, that you would like to share to everybody. And on the other part, uh, where 
communication and, and information is uh, very important is uh, the public part. When we talk about public part, we are talking about the major influencers, uh, really the celebrities, the sports teams that matter to the consumers, the brands that they love, the actors, the musicians, uh, the events that they really want to get hold of information. And these are the two areas, the very public that you don't have direct interaction with and the personal where the interaction and the communication is so intense uh, are the parts where we focus. Of course, in between there are, this is like my number of friends, uh, the thousands and hundreds of friends that you have, might have never uh, viewed or saw, seen in your life, uh, where you actually post the official information. The, where is your virtual identity? From the same report where I took the quote, it's uh, really this is uh, the way uh, social networks, uh, the current social networks are, are actually starting to get be used more and more with the younger uh, generation. That it is really something where you play safe, where you would not be sure to share, well, I had a rough night because I drank three whiskeys, because m your boss uh, might be also your friend on Facebook. And you might not really want to share this, but you will share this in a group where you which you have with your colleagues and with your family that, okay, I have to go to work, although like my head is like a drum. And uh, going exactly to this, uh, I want to share a little bit more about what we see, because we have hundreds of millions, even of, uh, probably even billions of messages going through our platform every day. And we have done quite a lot of research uh, in order to, evo to, to, to help it to strategically evolve about what triggers communication, what are really the reasons that usually trigger communication in, in the messaging space. And I think that they are very easy to understand. It's love, it's friendship, it's happiness, it's flirt, uh, it's music, it's food. Of course, it can be doubt, it can be anger, it can be disappointment, it can be a challenge or drive to do something, it can be concern. And actually, a lot of these emotions are things that are quite personal, things that you really want to direct to a certain kind of audience. And this is exactly the power of uh, the, the messaging platforms and the power of Viber. And actually, the, one of the reasons uh, why we are focusing on these emotions and we are paying attention to them is that we believe that we can actually amplify these emotions through tools. Because, of course, the, I, I get very often the question, Aren't you killing personal communication and so on? I said, like, it's, you can't kill personal and face-to-face -face communication. There is nothing better than that. We are trying to help virtual communication succeed and to be more like face-to-face -face communication, but it will never be like that, to really see and feel the person on the other side with, uh, with flesh, in flesh. But uh, what we try to do is really to give more and more tools to express these emotions. And of course, as they say, a picture is worth more than a thousand words. We have a stickers that are worth more than a thousand words. And we have sticker for all kinds of emotions. Again, stickers when you're happy, stickers when you're in love, stickers when you are trying to be rude to somebody. And that's why this guy here, Rudy, is so popular sometimes. Of course, stickers then when you are sick or when you are caring about somebody. And this is the reason why in most of these countries, more than half of the daily users use stickers to communicate their emotions. And this is starting to become more and more popular the more choice and the more they uh, develop these habits. Uh, we have sticker packs that have been downloaded more than 100 million times uh, in our platform. And actually, what we uh, figured out is uh, that it could be a platform for brands to org organically interact with the users, to really 
provide these users of the 21st century tools to communicate with their friends, to become brand ambassadors without really asking them to do that, but rather giving them the opportunity to use something that really incorporates the values of the brand and then to really put it out in the open and uh, to see what happens. And actually, uh, the tools that we do is really giving uh, our partners uh, the opportunity to create stickers with a design of their choice, stickers that are free for the end users, because nothing beats free, believe me, and uh, also uh, stickers uh, that are counted per download. So basically, this creates also a great opportunity for great creative. If you have great creative with the cost for one download, you might get 10, 12, 20, 30 impressions from, from this cost for a download. And we see this happening. And also, these sticker packs remain on devices of the users and they remain for unlimited period of time once they are downloaded. And stickers, and the users use their stickers over much longer periods of times than the regular uh, advertising. It's our favorite cat. And the other thing which is very important, because, okay, they are very cool and everything that's cool, that sounds cool and fancy, if it's not easy to jumpstart, uh, it wouldn't have the mass appeal. But like, as, I, as you saw, the, the, the millions of users that we had were accumulated for a period of four years and a half. So actually, we know how to do viral, and we know how to grow fast. And the stickers are probably the most viral part of Viber right now within the platform. The reason for that is because you only need two clicks, to become from a receiver a sender of a, of a sticker pack. So you receive a sticker about Smurfs playing football, and you say, OK, that's, that's quite cool, like Smurfs and football. I, I'd never thought that they would, they would do that. Uh, and uh, you decide to download it. You just click. Once you click, you see the whole sticker pack. So you have, I have all, the, all the stickers that are included in this pack. You click again on the button that is uh, for download and the sticker pack is on your device. Actually, the, the process from end-to-end -end takes two clicks and less than 10 seconds. And the moment you return to a conversation with this person that sent you the sticker or with somebody else, the sticker packs will be all, uh, as default uh, positioned in the sticker carousel, the, new, the newly downloaded sticker pack. So you cannot really go over them or forget that you have downloaded it because they will be presented. And actually, when you decide to download uh, such a tool, you don't really download it to put it in your pocket and say, like, and show it on, on, on your phone, like, look what kind of stickers I have. It's something that you download to share. This is one of the values and one of the key benefits of uh, this tool that it is built to be shared. So actually, once you download it and you have different kind of options uh, to be incorporated in the daily communication of the users, you have a very, very big chance that the users will start sending them right away. What we see usually with uh, well-designed sticker packs is that the moment user downloads it, uh, within the first day, it's the, the average user sends the stickers to at least six of his friends. And if, uh, in, if each of these friends sends it to another six, you can imagine how fast this uh, snowball effect can go. And actually, uh, the two cases about Coca-Cola in Russia last uh, Christmas and uh, for Halloween, so both of these uh, cases are very relevant for this season because Halloween is coming uh, actually this Saturday. Uh, and we are releasing again the sticker pack for Halloween, so you can download it soon. Uh, show the, the virality. So in one market, in one country, for four days, we had one million downloads of the sticker packs. One million people had the sticker packs on their phones. And within the month, we had 12 million downloads of this tool of uh, Coca-Cola. 
and they were sent tens of millions of times. And they're actually the guys in Russia are still using some of the stickers in this sticker pack during the summer and the autumn months. And believe me, even in Russia, it doesn't snow in summer. And uh, Halloween, the sticker pack, was ex just exploded. We, 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 we published it three or four days before, uh, the day before Halloween, and because it was very relevant and people were really gearing up with uh, excitement around the world about that, it, it hit the 5 million mark in less than 48 hours. And we really expect that to, to grow even faster this year. We have also a very strong case uh, in Serbia with our first local sticker pack that we launched in the summer. Actually, how many of you have used the Vipsy sticker pack? Raise your hands, come on. Don't be shy. <laughs> okay, so we, we have a fairly good penetration here. Uh, so basically, the, the Vipsy was downloaded more than 600,000 times, and there were more than uh, 14 million stickers sent since we launched in June 2015. And the reason for that, and this is like one of the top sticker packs from all the hundreds that we have in the market right now, uh, because it is local. And this is what we are trying to do. We want to be local. We want to work with local brands. We want to push local emotions in the Serbian or Bulgarian or Hungarian language. And this is the reason why we are here on the ground and we are willing to talk with each and every one of you to find the right balance for that. And also, we launched a serious uh, initiative, uh, which we are very excited about, as well for creating the stickers of the city. And th this really is making the stickers as local as it can get. So one place, one language. And this is a global initiative which we involved uh, like some of the best designers of graffiti and stickers as the jury worldwide. And we are offering a great opportunity for local artists uh, to show their talent, to create great prizes, to work with some of the best designers in digital worldwide, in, in Tel Aviv and in New York, to, to win, of course, prizes, and also to, to get a lot of revenue from the shares uh, of uh, the sales that, that they, they will do with these stickers. So we, we really look forward and we really expect that there will be some strong offerings here in Serbia and we have the support from the municipality and uh, it, it's uh, really something important for us. The other part of uh, Viber's uh, efforts to be local and to engage with the audience is really uh, our approach to building a social platform in the public sphere. So stickers are more after the personal communication. And we really want to give uh, different brands and uh, organizations the opportunity to have a very interactive and very personalized and, and a channel which looks very personal and very approachable uh, to share the information about what they are doing with the audiences that matter to them. And these are the, actually the public chats. Worldwide, uh, we have like the Prime Minister of India, who is probably the politician that is responsible for the biggest part of the population in the world. Uh, we have pop stars, DJs, we have also the Ice Bucket Challenge, so we supported them with, uh, with a great PR initiative, which was uh, quite complex in order to, 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 to bring the awareness, and we attracted a lot of stars. We have uh, entertainment, uh, models agencies, uh, BuzzFeed, radios, and uh, many, many, many more partners worldwide. The reason uh, why these partners uh, want to onboard this uh, platform at this early stage, and these are like really serious names, is firstly, it's because there is a very high engagement. It's uh, a, a channel where you simulate or you really uh, originate a true conversation between influencers, between a star and the entourage or several people around certain topic that are really names in it, that really talk about it. It's not like the brand pushing information from the brand name, but really real people with their pictures, with their names, talking about food, about technology, about music, and uh, 
really pushing pictures, videos, location, everything that, that you know and you cherish in, Vi in Viber uh, as, a, as a platform, as a tool for uh, information exchange. And because it looks like a normal conversation, you can much more easily immerse in it. And you don't really feel like this is something that is uh, like a top-down approach. The other way is uh, that it has uh, quite uh, good visibility uh, because we really tend to limit uh, the number of uh, chats and the number of partners that we have in each topic at this stage because we really want to have quality content that is verified, that is safe, that is really adding to the platform rather than having uh, hundreds of copies, clones or fakes uh, around a uh, certain topic and like when you type something you can't really understand which is the, offici the official page or which is the unofficial and so on. Okay, there are some markings but still uh, sometimes uh, finding information on, on cluttered platforms is much harder to do. And the other thing, uh, as I'll share some of the, the case studies that we have, is that it, it can be very controlled and very easy to moderate because you really allow only the people that you want to post and to share content in this platform. So it's much more easier to uh, use it for brands which are uh, inspiring hot passions. And actually the way we do, and um, we approach both of these things when it comes to brands and to partners, is uh, that we really uh, offer several tools. So there can be a just a public chat which is grown organically with the tools of uh, the community and the organization with promotion, with banners, links, uh, through other social channels and through the, the Viber organic reach. Uh, we can offer on, as another tool separate from that sticker packs to bring awareness for your brand, to go into the conversations about food, about music, about coffee, about waking up, about uh, going out, or uh, any other topic, or traveling, for example, uh, if it's a uh, company that is about traveling, uh, really to, to get into these conversations in a very gentle and very organic way. Or uh, we can connect both of these things. So to create a sticker pack about, for example, traveling, and uh, all the people that download this sticker pack become an audience for a channel which pushes information about traveling. And if uh, we use the, the, the example of VIP. If we had such a chat connected to this, uh, the, the telecom might have had 600,000 followers on their public chat if it was free and follow. And actually, this is something that we are planning to do with partners uh, very soon. So suddenly having uh, 600,000 people that receive in their Viber information from you is quite a significant channel. I think that you can admit to that. And something that is also coming is uh, the way uh, that we are going to help app downloads. So Viber is all about mobile. It's the, the application that is installed on most phones. So it makes sense for us to be able to connect stickers, again, around topic, really targeting, because you will send sticker to somebody about food or eating, actually, at a time which is suitable for food and eating to a person that might really care about this at this point. And if you send it and it is connected to an app, you, we will redirect it to the App Store and really build downloads over time. This is something that is currently under development and we have a, uh, a case in Viber right now with our Candy Crush Mania app. And just several cases that we did. So as I mentioned the city of Belgrade. We launched just recently a public chat with them with a lot of information, news, and uh, other uh, hot uh, types of content uh, from their side. And uh, this will be a strategic partnership. So they are supporting also the My City, My Vibe sticker contest. And also we are planning to do other stuff because really uh, Viber is about connecting the local community. And this is something that really makes sense uh, for also for the municipality, which uh, also cares a lot about that. The other part is uh, Cervana Zvezda. I, I, I apologize if there are 
passionate fans of Partizan in the hall, we offered the same day the same thing to Partizan. So they were a little bit slow, and I'm not to, be, uh, to take the blame for that. So that's why there is only Partizan here, uh, only Zvezda here. So Zvezda are doing quite well. This is a purely organic growth. They have their players, coaches, and everybody from their community in the chat sharing pictures. And the benefit for them is that because it's a public chat which is closed in terms of participants, they don't have to go all the time to moderate the gentle words that the guys from the other, that are fans of the other team might post on, uh, in such a channel, uh, because it is closed for them. So they only put the people that are in the community uh, to share content. And the fans can really interact with this content, but there, there is no hating and no bad publicity in there, which is like something that really is a very, very good example for, for such kind of brand. Of course, we have uh, two very influential media houses that launched on the same day, Courier and Telegraph, and they are also starting to generate quite a lot of audience back to their channels and uh, really to reach to younger uh, demographics and customers uh, that want to go there and to, to, to reach their content. So this is also a very good, good uh, case of information generating organizations that can use uh, the channel to reach their customers. And I have two global case studies. Uh, so one of them is Ibiza Rocks. We did it around entertainment and tourism because people from all over the world go to Ibiza. And uh, they, the, the people from the tourist department of Ibiza decided to do something around really fun and really communicating the vibe and the magic of going to the island and partying non-stop for weeks or months and so on. Uh, and actually, they really created this, pack, this uh, uh, public chat. And a little bit later, we created a sticker pack for that. And uh, this sticker pack, as I mentioned, was related to following uh, their public chat. And they reached 640,000 people, which are in this community. And they are continuing to engage with them. So these people that have this chat on their phones, when March or April comes and they say, well, am I going to Budva or to Ibiza or to uh, Mykonos, they might have a very good uh, chance uh, to choose Ibiza because they have been really, boom, like really engaged with a lot of content about the parties, about the pictures uh, that are uh, from the, the previous season. And they are really doing a great job about that. Two Forks is uh, the other project that we are very happy with it. Actually, Two Forks had around 150,000 followers a month ago. Now they have more than one million. Actually, if you, if you open Viber, you'll see that probably the number that I have put yesterday in the presentation is now getting far from the mark. So we create a sticker pack about food. And a lot of people care about food. And uh, we created this huge explosion uh, in their followers uh, through the platform by downloading this uh, sticker pack and again subscribing people to their portal, which is all about restaurants, recipes, sitting in, eating out, and the, the appreciation of uh, food as a social activity. And actually, uh, I, I'm constantly uh, mentioning food because this is some of the topics where for, around which people talk a lot. When you're in the office, you chat with your colleagues, where are we going to eat? When you are going home, what are we going to eat tonight? Or where are we going to go with friends? So this is really something that is quite powerful as well. So to wrap up, uh, this is just a glimpse uh, of uh, what the future of communication is uh, going through. And uh, basically, we really would like to see we are ideas, so we are very approachable. You can always uh, contact us about information or about any of the things and ideas that we shared. So may the vibe be with you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>